Hi guys, welcome back to Hedrick Wet Shaves. This video is dedicated to Ken Surfs. Ken, you're almost at 30,000 subscribers. Congratulations. I thought I wanted to be the first one to wish you congratulations, so I thought, you know what? I'll just do it early. So, as the title suggests, this will be for Ken Surfs. So I'm using one of his favorite razors, the McCurr 34C. He also loves his gold 34G. And I'm using Wilkinson Sword Gillette. Comes in that tuck and that package. Let me get this loaded up. Be right back. There we are. I figured I'd show you the Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade. So, yeah, Ken's definitely been uh, inspiration and encouragement with my new YouTube channel. We're all loaded up. And I'll just be using just some quick Gillette foam. So, have you guys been keeping up with all the space news? The SLS Space Launch System with the Artemis program. I have. I'm quite the space nerd geek guy. Get the face ready for the Gillette Lab. All right, here we go. There it goes jamming again. Yeah, I was so, I'll tell you the story. I was trying to get a glimpse of Jupiter and its moons and they were all lined up and I thought that was fascinating because I've taken pictures through my brother's telescope before and we've always kind of looked up at the sky and I saw two satellites just about straight up going at kind of an angle in a row, like that far apart through the binoculars. So to the unaided eye, it would have looked really close. I thought, okay, that is new. I've never seen that before. So I started doing research and the Starlink program, uh, you may have heard they just announced with T-Mobile that they'll be providing internet satellite internet even to smartphones with a partnership through t-mobile and they want to partner with all sorts of people they're in 39 countries around the world so i'm into ham radio so i'm always interested in any kind of communication technology so i started doing research on that and i find out hey the most powerful rocket ever in the history of the world is going to lift off with the artemis program it's unmanned vehicle. It's going to send it all the way past the moon. I think it's like 16,000 miles or kilometers past the moon and then come back after several weeks. Uh, I think early October it'll be coming back. But tomorrow, launching from Cape Canaveral, Florida. So I'll be tuning into that, guys. If you know, if you know anybody who is in Florida, try to have them get some video or picture because I would imagine that rocket will be visible probably for hundreds, hundreds of miles, I'd imagine. All right, Wilkinson Sword Gillette in McCurr 34C as a nod to Ken Serps, who is almost at 30,000 subscribers. Way to go, Ken. All right, see if I can do this a little bit on camera now. I always hide the left side of my face when I'm shaving. Sorry about that, guys. Just this. The delay, I have to train my brain to think about what's actually going on when there's the delay on the camera. Use the right side. Anything interesting you guys are up to lately? It's always interesting to hear what other people have been up to and if you have a suggestion for a razor or a blade that you want me to try, please let me know. That's what those lovely comment sections are for. Also, I have added a playlist for chess. I really enjoy playing chess on chess.com. And there are some amazing chess players on there. My rating isn't all that great, Although, with the computer chess programs, I get, I think, like a 2,000 rating. So that doesn't quite make sense to me, because now I'm just in the hundreds with real people. So, I know how the rating system works with that. 
Okay, first pass. I didn't. I was kind of a little bit dry, so I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe because my AC's on again. Yeah, it's always interesting how you can come up with different combinations of soap and razor and blade and all that kind of thing. Okay. I think my next video I'll use regular shaving cream that you mix up and my shaving brush again so I don't have these little clogs going on. There's two different shaving creams I use out of the can. The other one is a Venu Therapeutic Shave Gel. So actually I just use two gels. I don't use creams out of the can at all. There we go. All right. I think I forgot to wet the face again. That's from talking a bunch. Anyhow, one thing I was wondering is if there are certain blades that are wider. I think somebody had commented uh, to me that Kai blades or something like that are pretty wide. And I wonder, it looks like feather blades are extra wide. So that extra aggressiveness of the feather blade, I think, sticks out further. Whereas this is the Wilkinson Sword Gillette. Doesn't seem to stick out as far. That's my opinion. I, I don't think anybody else has done a video comparing two blades, one on top of the other, to show if one is wider than the other or deeper, or however you go with that. So I might show that sometime. Try to get a little bit more on camera here. I have a former coworker who I worked with for years, whose relative, uh, I believe, works for SpaceX, and they're always in, into all the astronomy news and everything. And it'd be very interesting to hear kind of a secondary report of how they're feeling about the whole Artemis program. Another thing, that video that I did just quickly for you guys, the subscribers, about how I was shaving off my goatee and then instantly letting it grow again, like I always do. That way I don't get too much irritation. That went viral to like 11,000 views. I knew it would probably go slightly viral. I didn't think it would go to 11,000 views. Okay, let's do one kind of against the green pass just gently. So that's what uh, Ken Search does. We'll do this. We'll see what we get out of this. Because the Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade is not sharp enough for me personally to go my usual two pass and get too terribly close. But that always leaves a little something when I only do two passes, kind of width and cross grain. But Wilkinson Sword Gillette is very gentle if you are kind of going against the growth. So we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, just nice and gentle. Lots and lots of feedback. Because of shaving every day, just something I got used to doing, I have apparently very thick hair follicles or maybe the base of the hair follicles is very thick. Okay, we're gonna go all the way beyond. And this is how a lot of people will go. They'll actually go against the growth, but it's different direction for every person. One teeny little nick right there. And Wilkinson Sword Gillette. I understand why it's a favorite of so many people because that was very gentle going against the growth. It's just not something I'm used to doing. All right, guys. Well, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Also look for a new playlist, probably just for fun or something like that. Oh, and then one quick cre correction. I had said I uh, rate blades with uh, ES, meaning experience of the shave. Well, it's actually SE, 
shaving experience is how i rate them i have a chart that i'll plan to type up sometime and show you guys thank you again for joining me on hedrick wet shaves i appreciate the new subscribers that keep popping up and i've subscribed to some other channels as well and really enjoying seeing everyone's different take on this fun wet shaving hobby and sometimes it can just really save your face too it reduces irritation a lot of times so thanks for joining me guys have fun with the new space news chess radiology whatever you like put it in the comments and let me know if you have an upcoming video request for a particular blade or razor thanks for joining me bye bye